They looked good. Um, uh, energy we talked about, uh, John, before you came down, and, and to me it's, it's apparent on the practice field, uh, the execution, and, and certainly there are some things that are different and new that we're doing out there. And so a typical Tuesday practice would, would see errors because you're learning, you're learning the, the opponent and the game plan, and, and then you throw in some of the new wrinkles and, and, and a little bit more of that. But that's okay for a Tuesday. The, um, the attentiveness, the attention to detail, um, and, and the, you know, the willingness to be coached and get it done was, was very apparent. No, you... Oh, I, I think um, you know, the, the transition that way is, has been you know, very, very smooth. There is. Um, when you got the number of guys that we have on that side of the ball that have, that have played, you know, significant snaps, they, they realize football at this level is, is there's a there's a business part to it, a big business part to it, and, and um, whether it's a player going down by injury or, or a, a coach uh, 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 changing or, or whatever it is, Wally today, uh, um, Wally got his leg cut, cut open and had to have 20 stitches. Um, so they had they had the head coach uh, coaching them for about you know they, they didn't flinch they listened to what I had to coach them on and, and, and away we went and, and so yeah I, I don't think there's been any hiccup or, or, or uh, flinching with with the change and, and they've responded to Todd's leadership very well. How it's it's significant um, having having Quan back and playing at the level he's playing is is uh, is important. Um, he had a great game uh, against Baylor. Uh, Darian's uh, playing very solid for us right now. Having a guy like Jamal gives us some flexibility. This is a guy that played safety, nickel, and corner uh, at Trinity Valley, and, and we were able to utilize him in that way uh, against Baylor. Um, I'm a big fan of DeMonte Ruth, and, and, and he got some snaps uh, Saturday in Waco, and if he gets more snaps uh, this Saturday in Ames, it, it wouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm actually encouraged by Kamari uh, right now and, and the progress that's been made in, in, in six days. Um, you know, he went from walking stiff-legged to now his normal walking gait, you, you couldn't tell. So uh, probably surprising the medical staff as well. So, I mean, there, there is an outside chance, but it would, I mean, he's, he's still got a long ways to go. Um, better, he, he actually was out uh, running around and, and catching some balls, not in pads, not taking any hits. He won't take a hit until Saturday. Um, but, but the training staff's opinion this morning was he'll play. He, he did. He graded out very high and, and uh, um, took away a lot of throws. Um, didn't necessarily make plays on, on, on the ball, um, but, but didn't give uh, the quarterback room to put a ball, and, and incompletions were thrown his way. Um, we'd all like to have uh, the opportunity for a pick six back on, on the first drive because they wouldn't have caught him. Um, but, yeah, he, he graded out high, and, and, and I, I confirm it. I thought it was his best game as a Cyclone. Well, we just finished up with, with uh, three kicks each, and, and uh, uh, the net wasn't down. I, I, would, I would think Cole barely inched in the one, and, and they both finished up three for three with an ornery crowd of football players around them as, as they did it. Um, so I think with a total of 11 kicks, I think we're dead even right now going into tomorrow's practice.